The Logan 703 Simplex V-Groover includes the V-Groove cutting head, a special V-Groove stop, and two spacer bars. To install blades in the 703 Simplex V-Groover, locate the casting imprint of the blade on the inside of either of the two blade holders. Loosen both of the knurled chrome screws at the top and insert one Logan number 1258 blade into the back of the blade holder the same direction that the casting shows. The lower screw goes through the hole in the blade and the upper screw tightens over the top of the blade. Install the remaining blade the exact same way. To cut a 2 inch V groove on a mat board blank, first loosen the mat guide on your simplex cutter and slide it to the 2 inch mark on the scale. Tighten both the mat guide knobs firmly. Use the spacer bars provided and place them against the edge of the mat guide. Now insert your mat board blank color side up. Set the bottom production stop that came with the simplex mat cutter to 2 inches also. Now take the special V-groove stop. Hook it to the edge of the guide rail and slide it back until the foot rests against the edge of the mat board. Tighten in place with a lever. Now set the scale to 2 inches also. Loosen the knob and slide the scale to the 2 inch mark and retighten. Take the 703 Simplex V-Groover and using the clips on the edge, hook it onto the side of the guide rail of the Simplex mat cutter. Slide it down to your bottom stop and follow the arrows on the levers. The left blade goes down first and slide the cutting head until you gently make contact with the upper stop. Pull the blade up and insert the other blade. Slide straight back and again make gentle contact with the bottom production stop. Always make sure that you remove the blade before moving the mat board. Rotate the mat board 180 degrees to cut to your other long side. Repeat the same steps. Left blade goes down first. Slide away to the top stop. Remove the blade. Insert the right blade. Slide to the bottom stop. And again remove the blade. To cut the short sides of the V-groove, Turn the mat a quarter a turn, loosen the V-groove stop, and slide it back until the foot rests against the edge of the mat board. Repeat the same cutting steps to cut the short sides. After the fourth cutting step, all four strips of V-groove paper will fall from the mat board, leaving a two-inch V-groove. The Logan 705 V-groover includes the V-groove cutting head and a special V-groove stop. To cut a two-inch V-groove on a mat board blank, first slide the cutting head down the length of the rail Set the mat guide to the V-groove size you intend to cut. In this case, we're cutting a 2-inch V-groove. Insert a backing sheet and a mat board blank, always color side up. Slide it against the mat guide and down against the squaring arm. Set the guide rail down and set your bottom production stop, in this case, to a 2-inch mark. Now take the special V-groove stop, hook it on the far end of the guide rail, slide the V-groove stop back until the foot rests against the edge of the mat board, 
and tighten in place with the knob. Now set the scale arm to two inches also and tighten with the knob. Hook the 705V Groover onto the guide rail of the mat cutter. and slide to the bottom stop. Following the arrows on the levers, insert the left blade down first, slide away until you gently make contact with the top stop, remove the blade lever, and now insert the right blade lever. Slide back towards yourself until you make gentle contact with the bottom stop and remove the blade. Rotate the mat board 180 degrees and repeat the same cutting process.